What's up YouTube, Max Lack Strings here. I hope you guys are having a good start to your holiday season. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Maverick Tank. Uh, this is a head that I've been wanting to get a closer look at ever since I saw it at the Played Against Sports trade show in Las Vegas that I went to. Uh, I was right next to the Cascade Maverick booth, so I got a chance to look at this and string up a Maverick Optic, I think it was. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to get into this review, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the weight. It weighs 7.5 ounces with the mesh strung in it. I like to weigh the heads that I review with the mesh strung in it because that's what you're going to be using it with. You're never going to be using it unstrung. Uh, and that is a pretty decent weight. Uh, with the heads that I've reviewed so far, it's been around 7 ounces. And 7.5 ounces is a decent weight for a defensive head. The retail price for this head is $90. You can pick them up and pretty much any lacrosse retailer or retail website and that's a pretty average price for a top of the line head these days and I'd say the price is definitely worth it. As far as stringing goes I'm gonna give this head an 8 out of 10 just because it was uh, very easy to string so I got the pattern the first or second time that I strung it and I was going for a pretty specific look which is that mid-low pocket um, and I just changed up the pattern I think only one time just to get a tighter channel on it um, and then I put these three straights in it. Uh, I found that it's strung very similar to the STX hammer. It looks almost identical to another pocket that I strung on a hammer. Uh, so I thought I think that's due to the similarity in face shape. Uh, but I found it to be a little bit easier to string than the hammer just because of all the sidewall holes. This is one of the more stiffer heads on the market so I'm going to give the stiffness rating a 9 out of 10. Uh, which is a great rating for a defensive head where defensive players like to have a stiff and durable head. I gave the face-off rating for this head a 2 out of 10 because it's really only designed for defensive players so you're never going to want to face off of this head. It's not used for um, really pinching and popping or trying to get the head to flex at all because it's just so stiff. So um, 2 out of 10 for face-offs. I would recommend this head to the defensive player or long stick midi just because of its wide face shape and its stiffness. Uh, it plays really well for the defensive player. Overall, I gave the head an 8.8 .8 out of 10 because of all the benefits it provides for the defensive player. It's got a really wide face shape and a really elongated scoop for ground balls, which is really great. And with the combination of the nice stringing, uh, you really couldn't go wrong with this head as a defensive player. So thanks guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.